what should people know about Ted Lasso? Um, well, one that it's, it comes out on Apple TV Plus on August 14th, worldwide. Uh, it might be universe wide, but we, that's the whole different public relations department uh, beyond the Milky Way. But I, um, w w what can I tell you? It's a, it's a show about uh, where I play an American college football coach who gets hired by a, pro uh, a professional uh, British soccer club. Uh, so it's a fish out of water story. It's also you know an underdog story and, and, and a, you know a few other stories as well. And yeah, that's 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 the the, the premise. Um, and then as far as who I am, you know, I play this guy, this Ted Lasso, who is you know uh, equal parts um, ignorant and curious, which I think is a much uh, more in, endearing and charming uh, and hopeful quality or combination than say ignorance and arrogance, which might be dominating our uh, airwaves and social media these days more than I personally care for. Ted Lasso is one of those people that we've all met that because of the time we live in, uh, your initial reaction is, uh, there's no way this guy or girl is this sincere and this optimistic and uh, 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 this nice uh, uh, human being. And, uh, and then you start to be mad at yourself because uh, as he or she grows on you, you realize, oh my gosh, it's for real. So, you know, it's all kind of extending from the fact that, that Jason and I wanted to do a show that, yeah, it's funny and uh, has, you know, pathos and emotional ups and downs, but at its core, it's kind of a really optimistic and hopeful show, you know? And for me um, to be watching that with my kids right now and having them, A, think it's cool because uh, uh, it looks like I know the guy from SNL, but also um, to have them kind of, have the same uplifting vibe that they get when they watch sports movies like Rocky or, uh, or, or Rudy or Hoosiers or whatever. But some of the quality is worth uh, noting about Ted Lasso, the guy that I play, is, is yeah, he has this, this hopefulness to him, this eternal optimism, almost a, a childlike wonder. There's a, a certain level of egolessness to him, which is, you know, not a quality that's often celebrated or, or, or you know, uh, dramatized, you know, very, very often because so much, I think, of, of uh, you know, um, theater and television and films is, is you know, dealing with the challenges of wrestling with our inner ego and super ego and id. And yeah, Ted, Ted sort of moves through the world dealing with people as they, as they come versus, you know, letting the reputations precede them. Yeah, I think one of the themes of this show is, 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 you know, we all have more going on than maybe we show on the surface or, or show on our social media platforms. And, uh, and that's not a new idea. You know, the idea of wearing masks uh, is, is as old as time, but, but Ted himself goes through, you know, um, very, you know, numerous, you know, uh, um, human experiences and, 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 and what the show, you know, wants to, you know, question how do we respond to those things? Cause a lot of things that happen to us are sometimes out of our control. And the only thing we do have control is how we how we react, and uh, and that that goes on for numerous characters. Almost every character in the show has you know a battle. It's very much uh, with its in, you know intentionally. So it's an ensemble show, even though it's called Ted Lasso. Um, you know everybody's going through something uh, behind closed doors, or sometimes right out in the open. And so, in many instances, Ted is more of a white rabbit than a white knight leading people to maybe discover things for themselves versus telling them, you know, what to do.